You ever feel like it's always really nice while you're at work, and as soon as you get out of work, it's just nothing but thunderstorms for the rest of the day? Yeah, that's been my week. What are we going to do about it? That's what we're going to do about it. Happy Model Snapper 7. Let's check it out. So I just got my Happy Model Snapper 7. I've been super excited to get a good brushed micro drone, tiny whoop if you will. But this is a little bigger than a regular tiny whoop. Normal tiny whoop, this one's a little bigger. Uh, I got the, the FR Sky version and the standard package, which is their better package. Open up, take a look. So the standard version comes with the drone, this upgraded charger, which does the JST 2.0, the smaller old style uh, whoop batteries. It'll do regular, it'll do high volt, and it has uh, two different charging rates, uh, a 0.2 amp and a 0.6 amp. Uh, you can power it off of a seven to 25 volt input and it also has a USB charging port on it. So pretty cool little charger. It's, uh, I don't know, I mean, it, it's got that normal Chinese grade crap feel to it, but you know, as long as it works, who really cares? Yeah, that's, yeah, it's not heavy duty at all, but it's a good charger for what it is. Got some props, some rubber bands, a craptastic little screwdriver, a Prop removal tools, some extra screws. That's usually a bad sign. They give you extra screws because you're probably going to lose some. Uh, three LiPos. These are 450 milliamp hour 30C high volt 1S LiPos. And it comes with three of them. They put two in the bottom of the box and one on the bottom of the drone. Let's just get this box out of here. So there it is. There's the Snapper 7. And we'll put it right next to a normal tiny whoop inductric size micro whoop or micro drone. Uh, you can see it's it significantly bigger. Uh, it also is heavier uh, because this has aluminum ducts around the props and a carbon fiber center plate. It's a really neat design, real neat setup, a lot of hardware, a lot of screws. Uh, definitely want to go through and make sure everything's tight because if I know my Chinese drones, uh, something's going to be loose and I'm going to be missing some hardware. Luckily, we get some spares. Uh, but it's a brushed whoop compared to a, or sorry, it's brushless whoop compared to a, a traditional brushed, brushed whoop, which only gets, I don't know, couple hours of use before you start seeing a degradation in performance and you got to replace the motors. Kind of tired of replacing the motors. So I wanted a brushless. This is using the uh, Happy Model 0703 size motors at 19,000 kV. Uh, they feel pretty nice. Motor, the bearings are pretty smooth. Um, I like the red color. And it has a 25 milliwatt all-in-one camera VTX setup and it's using the uh, it's using a D16 FR Sky receiver so we sh will get telemetry with this motors are plug and play well I mean plug and play as in you don't have to solder them on if you had to replace one it uses a, a pin header style connection VTX antenna up top RC antenna 2.4 gigahertz out the bottom and it uses, uh, it uses this little rubber band to hold the lipo on. Uh, not a super huge fan of these, but, you know, it, was, it works. It's light. It serves its purpose. Uh, USB connection for getting into Betaflight on the bottom. And it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like there's one broken screw back here. It looks like they broke the head off. It was a little plastic screw. And they just decided to heck with it, and they left it. So, uh... Probably have to go through and fix that. 
Uh, it doesn't have uh, VTX or audio VTX switching. It's just got a regular push button down there inside the canopy. So you've got your push button for changing your bands and your channels. It's not a power switchable VTX. And your bind button for your receiver is right there on the board. So it looks like you can get to everything without actually taking the canopy off if you had something to poke at it with. Uh, preferably something plastic, not a metal conductive screwdriver. There's your bind button. And if you reach in here, you can get to your, your VTX. So, all right, so go over real quickly how to bind your Tyrannus to your Snapper 7. It's a little different than most things. Uh, being you plug your battery in, you wait about two seconds, and you hold the bind button down on the model, and then it'll start the binding process. So let's go ahead and create a new model here. Snapper. All right. And let's just go right to the bottom here. So this is a D16 receiver. We want to leave it on D16. And we'll highlight bind, but we won't hit it yet. So our bind button is Plug it in. And we see all the lights flash on the bottom. All right. Now we go ahead and hold this for two seconds. That puts it into binding. We start binding on our Tyrannus. And I do channel one through eight telemetry on. And see our lights are flashing. It means it's bound. Exit this. Disconnect this guy. Telemetry lost. Oh, look at that. Reconnect Telemetry. it. We're good to go. So that's all bound and set up. Next thing we need to do is, or at least this is the way I do it, go over to my telemetry page and discover new sensors. All the sensors are discovered. And then I go back. I go back to my inputs page and then we, uh, we start making our new inputs. Okay, well here's some uh, flight footage from the Snapper 7. I've flown inside a bunch and you know, that's just like anything else, flying indoors is indoors. Big thing I wanted to find out is how well does this thing fly outside? It's not a calm day out. It, I mean, there's a little bit of wind. It's, it's not. There's a little bit of wind. There's not a lot. Uh, I did crash this a few times outside. Uh, I did. So this thing flies surprisingly well outside. It's got some pretty good range on it. I'm very surprised for, for such a tiny little drone, tiny little antennas. You get some good range. The VTX. Uh, it's only 25 milliwatts, and it manages to. Put up, uh, put up some pretty good distance. The camera, the camera is phenomenal. I, I mean, for what it is, I mean, it is an all-in-one. It is way better than I ever thought it would be. Way better. So it flies great. Uh, I'm, you know, right here, I'm definitely have my patch pointing in the wrong direction. Go up and over the house, and this thing can arrest its ascent without doing that typical brush whoop flutter to the ground where it bounces and then gets back in the air. Um, flies great. The only downside to this I can see is the aluminum hoops. If you whack something really hard, they're going to bend. Uh, so, I mean, but they bend back pretty easy just by hand. Whereas I assume if you hit something that hard with a plastic whoop, plastic whoop you'd probably, you'd probably break the frame. So then you got to add weight by adding glue or you got to replace the frame altogether. Uh, yeah, it, it, for, 
for what this thing costs and what you get it is a screaming deal especially if you uh, get it through Banggood and use some of those coupon codes like the the toy ho uh, it's no longer toys ho it's toy ho I think it's five or eight percent or something like that I don't know it it's it's a discount it doesn't matter uh, you can fly this thing anywhere it's tiny it's light it doesn't really bother people when you fly around you know not like a big five inch where you know everybody gets scared that you're you know spying on them or whatever yeah but for three batteries a craptastic battery charger uh, a brushed whoop or a brushless whoop with a current meter a great VTX a good camera I mean how can you go wrong this thing is just incredible uh, a note on the battery charger it's a piece of crap it works it charges but the circuitry in it and the plastic casing it's all garbage it, you plug it in and the thing just screams it has that really high-pitched electronic whistle to it uh, I mean it works it charges the battery but I can't be in the same room with it it'll drive me up the wall um, yeah so highly recommend this I I can't see any reason not to get this unless you wanted uh, a smaller one then there's the snapper six and then uh, if you want a plastic one there's a there's another version of a thing like this uh, the, the it's like the snapper six but it's got a plastic frame on it like a plastic tiny whip frame uses the tiny whip style stick batteries uh, I've seen nothing but great reviews on that as well all right so snapper seven Two big old thumbs up. This thing is awesome. The uh, standard package with the three batteries and the battery charger, it's a good deal. This, uh, I mean, it works, and you can see that most of the plugs aren't soldered on straight. Case is junk. It's got horrible electronic noise. Uh, this is a way, way better charger. I'll put a link to this guy down in the description. Uh, Strix high volt charger. Way better, runs off a of LiPo. I mean, it's got a few less features, but way better charger. Uh, the LiPos are pretty darn good. Um, no complaints there. If you're looking for replacements or extras, the GMB 450 high volt, these uh, ADC uh, batteries, these are, these are the tippy top for this thing. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. And I'll put a link to those in the description as well. And a link to the, uh, the snapper itself. Uh, a few little things to note, uh, the power wire, If you, you got to find a better way to route this guy. It does kind of get caught in the props every once in a while. Uh, I just try to push it down between the hoop. I'll probably put a little drop of super glue in there to hold it in place. Uh, this broken screw, it's broken for a reason, because the screw doesn't fit in there. So that wasn't broken and forgot about it. It was broken uh, out of necessity. Um, the hoops, uh, they bend back real easy. Make sure you tighten up all your screws. And uh, take your rubber band, instead of going on these stupid little posts and it always pops off, take these two screws and these two out and kind of feed it inside of there. So this thing, I mean, it's still a pain in the butt to get under, uh, get a battery under it, but it's not gonna pop off every time you take a battery in out. And just a little chunk of foam right there helps you get, get a better purchase on it. Uh, yeah, uh, I have zero complaints about this thing. For the price, uh, it is one heck of a deal. I highly recommend this. I, I can't see how you'd be disappointed. All right, well, that's all I got for today. If you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, I'll, I'm going to try to keep doing this as much as I can. All right, I'll catch you next time.